All right. Uh, today we over at the Westgate Hotel. Um, back in the 60s, this should be the International where Elvis uh, appeared here. And I think all of his shows was sold out. Uh, so I think he set a record here in Vegas for the number of sold out shows. All right, this is the Westgate, what they call it, the Westgate Hotel now. Um, I think they just changed the name. Before it was the Hilton. Um, I think you had uh, Bill Cosby appeared over here. I forget some other name and attendance. It's off the strip, so I think it was really necessary to like get like a big big name entertainer or draw to come over here and, and you know try to get people to come in because it's on paradises the strip is like about three or four blocks away uh, the west of here but it's a large property and I guess you know it, this was the spot I guess you know, back in the, the 60s, uh, when Elvis was here, he packed them, packed them in here. It's a pretty large place too. Okay, it's some show here. Um, it says in the back of the building, wherever the back of the building is. It's from Graceland Exhibition to show the experience now and forever at the Westgate. So I don't know exactly where it's at, but I'm going to try to find it. Eight years run. Uh, 837 consecutive sold-out performances. All right, this is a statue of Elvis here in the center of the Westgate here. The International was the name of it, and then it has changed to the Hilton, and now it's, it's called the Westgate Hotel. All right, this is uh, this is the front entrance to the Westgate here, and it's a pretty large hotel, and uh, like they've done a lot of improvements and stuff like that. Um, when Elvis was around. Um, When Elvis was around, Vegas was a lot smaller too, so I guess most of the people who came in, they came from, you know, out of town, and it was a different atmosphere at that time, when mainly a lot of people was just living out on the farms, you know, back in the 60s, and now it's, it's more of a, I guess this country is more of a, um, um, yeah, the country is more of an urban area now, you know, with most people living in the cities. But uh, when Elvis was around, a lot of people was living on farms and stuff back in the 60s. Uh, I don't know exactly what year, I forget what year exactly uh, started appearing here at the International. But uh, evidently he done it, you know, he done a good job, good job. I think one of his best songs that I like was Dixieland. Um, a lot of people, did, when, the, when he sang it, it the, a lot of people uh, started crying. And I think one of his uh, last songs that he done, I think was Burning Love or something like that. I, that was a real good song. 
and I think that was coming more into the uh, more into the disco era and uh, uh, he really killed that song and he 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 really put, in my opinion he really tried to put his heart and soul into it and at the end he he um, not necessarily at the end but um, when he became more famous um, uh, they spent more money on, on some of the performances, some of his, uh, uh, well, performances and, and some of his recordings where he had like an orchestra backing him.